right, welcome to One on One, definitely hoping that all is well with you from whatever part of the world you are watching us on Contact TV. This, you're using your app, which is C24, and it's on your Android phones, and definitely if you haven't downloaded that app, it's free of charge, do it, and definitely you'll enjoy some of our shows right here on Contact TV. For our listeners who are listening to us, welcome again to Contact FM. This is One on One, and my name is Eugene. And Nangwe, my guest in studio is the reigning Miss Rwanda. Of course, uh, she is none other than Miss Colomb Akiwachu. Welcome to One on One. Thank you very much. How does it feel being in this position? Because this is the first time that we're getting a chance to interview you here on Contact FM. And maybe it would be interesting for your fans and those you represent to tell them how it is to be Miss Rwanda. <laughs> Uh, actually, it's something good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you like something, and you became uh, that thing you want to be, mm -hmm. uh, it makes you happy and <laughs> yeah, you enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, 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 apart from the happiness, what does this thing, Miss Rwanda, mean to you? Because there are those who say that it's 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 useless. It's it's of no use for us. We shouldn't even focus or put our minds to it. What does it mean to you personally? Uh, I don't think it's the way uh, it is. Uh, I think it's something big and something important to the country. Because mm -hmm. um, with the, with this position, you have the potential to do uh, a lot of things, a lot of work mm -hmm. to your country. Yeah, it de it depends on how much you you love. Uh, the position mm -hmm. and how much you love your country mm -hmm. and how hard worker you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so what's, something important. What's your job description then as Miss Rwanda? <laughs> what, what is your work? What is your role? What, what are you supposed to do uh, when you're Miss Rwanda? Then we can move on to the next question of the kind of jobs that you've been able to do. Uh, I think uh, the main important thing uh, is um, to be a role model to others. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, to be an example to other girls uh, of your country, even even outside, why not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so the main important. That's the most important thing. That's the yeah. job you need to do. But anybody can do that. Anybody can be a role model to anyone without being Miss Rwanda. Yeah, I know. But once you have uh, a title, a big title, mm -hmm. you know, you're you're known everywhere. You know, uh, that's when uh, people get get you like uh, your role model. Mm -hmm. Yeah, things mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So so far. One year down the line, after winning the the beauty pageant, do you think you've been able to achieve that? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. How do you gauge <laughs> that? Uh, I've been doing a lot of things, mm -hmm. a lot of work with youth and with uh, others. <laughs> yeah, you want me to say something? Please, please. Like which one? <laughs> yeah. Uh, first of all, um, I collected uh, some money to pay the mutual de santé. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, for orphanage, um, uh, 114 uh, mutuelles de santé. 114,000 or 114 no. people? Uh, 114 people. Okay, yeah. were covered by the funds raised yeah. by your initiative. Yes, and um, I represented Rwanda to the UN Climate Change Summit mm -hmm. in New York. Mm -hmm. Uh, because of the because of the project we've been doing with youth, um, and so far, um, I'm, I'm, uh, we are starting tomorrow. By tomorrow, uh, I raised uh, the fundraising. Now uh, I'm going to to start uh, building houses for genocide survivors. I think uh, that's something impressive. Something that uh, someone can really um, appreciate mm. and take uh, a good example because mm. I'm not I'm not that I'm not that rich and mm. Mm. but I'm trying to use my position in a good uh, way could you could you have done this without being Miss Rwanda uh, I think um, if I was not Miss Rwanda I can do uh, uh, good things but not uh, at that level because it, it requires uh, a title and uh, I can say a privilege because mm. I'm the only Miss Rwanda. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So talking of this 
representations. Let's now go one by one. You said you represented Rwanda in, in, in the UN climate change uh, meeting. And so as a young person, because most of the time we talk of climate change, we are always thinking big, um, and thinking expert-wise, and, 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 and it's very rare to find young people involved in such issues of climate change, because youth want something entertaining, they want something that makes them happy. But then this is climate change, and, and there you are playing a role that you played in, 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 in this meeting. So what does climate change mean to you? Uh, climate change means a lot to me because I'm on the world mm -hmm. and um, I want to live longer mm -hmm. and uh, I wish to uh, I wish uh, all people to live longer mm -hmm. and happier so I don't want to uh, see people suffering because of the climate change that's why uh, I said uh, with my position I can do something important to run this and even to the, the whole world mm -hmm. yeah so what is it what is that thing that you think should be done um, in order to make you live longer and enjoy this world and keep it away from the effects of climate change uh, actually it's not it's not something big you know uh, first of all we have to start uh, by uh, uh, in our life uh, mm -hmm. in our lives uh, like um, not using uh, I don't know I don't know how to, to say it but um, Sometimes they say the sprays we use. <laughs> yeah. So, so as a person yeah, yeah. who's but advocating for for, 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 for for the fight against climate change and being a beauty pageant and, 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 and being a lady for that matter, do you keep off such kind of things like sprays, deodorants? Uh, it's a bit uh, uh, complicated, but I do. You yeah, do? I try. You don't use them? I try. You try not to use them? Yes. But you use them? Yes, but uh, uh, I try, yeah, I try. try. So, so, so people can accuse you of saying you're <laughs> preaching water and you're drinking wine. Like you're saying, don't use this, don't do this, protect the environment, but you find yourself using uh, the stuff that probably affects the environment. I'm not judging you, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, uh, you know, uh, in the world, some, sometimes uh, leaving something you are using. Yes. I, didn't know, I didn't know that before. Mm -hmm. That's why I've been using it. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to, to live. To minimize. Yeah, I'm okay. trying to minimize. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's talk about the process of, of uh, these elections. Be because it, it, it's, we've watched, and I'm sure you are also following closely the ongoing yes. uh, uh, contest for the people who want to take away your, your crown. And there are people who have said that look at the, the, the level of education that these ladies that we want to crown as our ambassadors have when it comes to expressing themselves in English, for example, or just giving a particular answer to a certain question that they are asked. Do you think those who judge and maybe complain a lot about the level of those who answer these questions are being too harsh on these contestants? Uh, or you agree with them with what they say? <laughs> Actually, my opinion is this. Uh, uh, we have, uh, we need, we need uh, someone who can represent our country, uh, not only in Rwanda, even outside. So um, she needs to know uh, at least one uh, foreign language. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so what is your opinion then on the level of of of, of English? Are we being too judgmental? Are we judging people too badly when it comes to the way we see them answer some of the questions? I don't think uh, we we have to 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 know like um, on a great level to speak well English or French because we are not uh, from those countries. Mm -hmm. Our 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 language, our mother language is Kinyarwanda. The first thing is uh, to know how to express yourself and. Uh, uh, so that uh, yeah, so that everyone gets uh, your your opinions mm -hmm. or points. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the main thing we need. 
um, yeah, all right. <laughs> that's what I think. At some point when you are getting into this, there were uh, stories on, on different media houses that uh, you are having difficulties in performing your duties uh, from the issues of your management from the issue of the financial support to your trips outside of the country C could you share with us i mean what was going on <laughs> actually that's the past i don't like talking about that but still our past sometimes help us to step on moving forward it's like a, uh, they did they yes. changed yes. yeah so, the next so what, happened? Is going. what happened uh, you want me to say? It? Yes. All right. Um, actually, uh, I got problems with my management. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were not good enough. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now things are fine? I, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. So far, you're okay? You're okay? Yeah. Uh, for me, I'm okay. Uh, I try to manage it. And yeah, here so I am. So you manage yourself? Yeah, with uh, some kind people, mm -hmm. like my father, friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there was also stories that even the car you were given was <laughs> was an old car and not what you had been promised. Yes. And was there any explanation given to you on why that was being done? Actually, no. And you were okay with that? Uh, yeah, I tried to complain, but um, I moved on. You moved on? Yeah. You didn't feel cheated? Uh, I felt, but now I'm okay. You're fine? Yeah. All right. So <laughs> let's talk of those who are going to come in. Um, because those who argue and say that, uh, let's do away with Miss Rwanda and think of better things. They complain that we are using taxpayers' money, we're using a lot of money and resources and time on something that they don't see any umusaruro in. And, and, and so for you, if you look at all that from the level of, from the stages of the management to the stage of where you say there was a bit of, you felt cheated when it came to the prize that you expected to be given after winning. What do you think should be done now, moving forward, to make this thing, Miss Rwanda, something that people can be proud of? Uh, first of all, I think uh, for the prices, I think they should, uh, uh, said something which is uh, real, which is real, not uh, uh, the case say, not real. Huh? You saying which is real? Yeah. Meaning like they yeah. should keep to the promise that they make. Or? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, like. Uh, like in French, they say, uh, la promesse est une dette. If it's something they, they promise, they have to make it, you know. Okay. Yeah, that's something, first of all, which is important. And the second thing is uh, uh, to, do in a, to do it in a professional way. I don't, I, I, I'm not saying here that they are not prof professional, but they, um, they should improve, yeah. You were elected at around 3 a.m. Mm. You were picked at around three. Uh, yeah, like so it's, it's those problems, mm -hmm. uh, uh, people were complaining. They have to change it, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what of we learn by mistakes? You learn by mistakes. Yeah. You believe that they have learned. Yes. And 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 what of that person that is going to take over from you? If 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 you look back at at, at what you've been able to do, what are those things that you think whoever comes and takes over from you needs to pick up and continue with? Sorry. What are those things or those projects that probably you have started or you have been doing that you would like whoever wins this year takes up and continues with? Uh, first of all, I think uh, the main thing is uh, uh, to discuss with a youth from uh, up, uh, upside. Mm -hmm. uh, up. Abroad? Diaspora? No. Oh. Um, up countries. Okay. Yeah. Yes, up country. Yeah, because um, they they have a lot of problems and they need uh, someone who has like a big title in who and who is in their generation that they can get uh, his or her ideas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and we have people in those positions. Yes. For example, for we example, have the, 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 singers. The, the, yes, and also members of parliament who represent the youth. 
Africa, but it, they are. It, 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 we have members of parliament who represent the youth in parliament. These are those who are supposed to be coming up with laws. But uh, they are not uh, that known. They are not stars. Yeah. Okay. So you, do, you, do you think they're failing in, in, in doing that particular role of. I don't think it's. Uh, I, I cannot say it's failing, but. Uh, you know, seeing someone uh, who, uh, most of the times, who is on TVs, uh, radios, you know, and coming to you, discussing with you, uh, giving you ideas, you know, it's something which helps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so, so you have learned that the youth in the villages yes. listen more to popular stars. Yes. These are the in their generation. In, in their generation. Yes. So they wouldn't easily listen to a youth MP who is supposed to visit them and, 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 and work out something. They like can, that. but not uh, at the same level. As much as they would listen to yes. someone like Knowles, yes. King James. Yes, uh, it's like more that. easy. Mm -hmm. And so for you, if you were to be given another extra year, mm. to say, or, you know what, Akiwachi, we haven't found someone who can take this. So we want you to continue. Would you easily say yes or would you say oh yeah um i'll say yes because uh now i'm in a good position to do a lot of things mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. i'm ready mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is there anything that you think with time you have not been able to do that you really wanted to do uh no uh, i don't think uh i had some something which i didn't do mm -hmm. but i think i can do more Mm -hmm. Yeah. Talking of doing, there's a thing that you did. Yes. You and uh, your predecessor, the one who uh, you took over from. Yes. That caused a lot of problems. Like people are talking, there are those who are supporting you too, there are those who are against you too. Uh, and this was the bizu bizu <laughs> of King James. Uh -huh. Could you tell us about it? I mean, what, what was going on and, and why you, what is your position in, in that debate? Uh, I don't think it was a mistake, mm -hmm. yeah, because uh, when uh, I'm going to do something first, I, have, I, I think about it, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, I, I don't regret doing that because uh, it's something easy, you know. Uh, nowadays, we, we greet each other uh, with a bizu, we no longer hug each other, so I think it's something easy. I don't know why they... So uh, are say. we being hypocritical? Like we make noise, and yet these are the real yeah, things I can that we say. do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, 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 no regrets at all. I don't regret at all. If you're told now you're gonna go with Eugene, that is me, and you would still do it if we were to do a bit more. <laughs> I think even coming here, I gave you a bizu, right? Oh, okay. I greet you. We are not supposed to. <laughs> I greet you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so at the end of the day then, um, what do you think then, uh, you know, the young people should do? Because when it comes to things like um, uh, political issues, when it comes to things of nation building, development, yes. thinking of laws and shaping the, the picture of our country, we seem to be leaving this to the older generation and maybe young people don't seem to be interested in even talking about those things. We, 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 we seem to just be happy, as you said, seeing our superstars coming to talk to us and, say, and, and enjoy with them. So what do you think should be done to ensure that young people fully take over the responsibility of taking part in even the political process of their country? Uh, I don't think I don't think it's a problem because they listen to superstars, uh, but we have to use that opportunity to 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 uh, to teach them, yeah, like to to do a science civilization mm -hmm. to them so that they 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 get to the point or to the level uh, we want them to to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the, the thing. Uh, I think it could be done, and yeah. Mm. You, you, 
yourself, are you interested in, in, in political issues? When we say political issues, for example, if people start to debate and, and, and start talking about the issue of term limits, for example, how long should a president be in power, uh, what are the policies that need to be put in place to ensure that uh, the youth also participate in politics, would you be interested in such a discussion? Uh, or you'd say, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I will not talk about those things. Actually, um, I can debate on that because mm -hmm. uh, I love my country, mm -hmm. but th but that's not my uh, my hobby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So if you were to, I can debate, mm -hmm. but I, I cannot join, mm -hmm. like uh, being a politician, okay. because it's not my hobby. Okay. Yeah. So what's your opinion then on that debate that is already going on? People are already talking. People are already asking. People are already giving their ideas. Should we have term limits in terms of? Can the president continue on? Should we say we have this number of years and not look at what they have done over those number of years? What then is your voice in that? What 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 is your opinion there? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not here to talk about politics, <laughs> but <laughs> the thing is this is what I'm talking about. Yeah, the because thing it is, it becomes a bit hard. It becomes a bit uncomfy for some people. And, and you know, you know, and, yes. I cannot uh, stand here talking about politics because mm -hmm. uh, I didn't come here to talk about politics. But it's a position the thing is, as a young person uh, yeah. of your country. Yes. It's something that you can yes. say a yes or a no. I love my country mm -hmm. and I have to, to, to take uh, a small part even mm -hmm. when I, uh, don't love, uh, I don't like being a politician. Mm -hmm. I have to take a, a small part in so what politics is that of small my country. Part? What is that small but, part? How um, small is that small part? Like uh, thinking about all of that, you know, but I cannot stand here talking about politics. So you, it would be a personal thing that you would... If it was to vote, I can vote, yeah. But uh, here... But to talk about it, no. Um, I don't think it's uh, an appropriate uh, time to talk about that. Why? Because I came here for an interview about uh, beauty pageants, <laughs> not <laughs> politics. <laughs> but your position as, as a beauty pageant. Now, let's, let's, let's then talk about um, uh, the lessons that you learn from other countries, because other nations have this uh, sort of misrounder thing. And, and, and I'm sure with your traveling, you have also met other, uh, you know, ladies who represent their countries in the position that, that you also have. So what lessons then have you picked from them that you feel it's worth sharing with those who are here who are listening or watching? Uh, uh, I don't think they have, uh, a, I don't think that there is a, di a big difference. Uh, the difference is coming on uh, how they organize their beauty pageants and how they manage it. And uh, I think uh, for us, it's the third, uh, the third time mm -hmm. we had a Miss Randa. Mm -hmm. So I think they, they will keep on improving, mm -hmm. yeah. So we're on the right track. Yes. Super. So any parting words, because we have to now start leaving, what is it that you say that if you had more time to be in this position, you'd have wished to do, that you've not been able to do or you may not be able to achieve because probably your time is not that much at this time before someone else takes over? Um, <laughs> I can, uh, I would love to, to, uh, to keep on working with youth, yeah, that's uh, the great thing I, I, I like mm -hmm. because uh, young generation, we are the, the future leaders, so I would love uh, to give them my great ideas, to exchange them, uh, to exchange with them mm -hmm. ideas, mm -hmm. they, they give me uh, good ideas and I give them mm -hmm. back mm -hmm. good ideas, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm about to ask your last question, which I am sure that maybe you will have a bit of difficulty answering, which is fine. It's up to you. You can choose to answer yes or a no. And it's a perception that we have had out there that uh, if you are a Miss Rwanda or in a position that you are, you're not supposed to be dating or you're not supposed to have a public um, uh, love affair with anyone. Is this true? It's not uh, forbidden to have uh, a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's someone's choice to have a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. uh, but 
<laughs> for me, I don't think it's uh, something right uh, to expose uh, your life. Yeah, I think you have to to keep your private life. Yeah, as a Rwandese, because in Kenya, Rwanda, <laughs> uh, in in Rwanda. Uh, uh, that's how they say. But that's not true. Because it if is. you're in a, in a powerful position like yours, yes. for example, the president, we all know their spouses. Yes. Um, uh, certain members of parliament, we know their spouses. Yes. Uh, world leaders like heads of World Bank, whatever, we, we know this. So why would it be difficult for a position like yours to say, um, you know what, this this is this is my boyfriend or this is my husband or this is my fiance. Are we trying to restrict ourselves into living lives of you know holding back? Uh, actually, I think um, it's not an appropriate time to say that uh, it's your boyfriend or uh, husband. You know, I, uh, I'm sorry, mm. Mrs. Don't have husbands. Uh, I don't think it's a uh, it, it's a, a great time, or because uh, sometimes even your boyfriend or your fiance doesn't want to be uh, famous as you are. Mm -hmm. You know, it depends on on the agreement you do yeah, have. The agreement you do. So, yeah. so the kind of answer you're giving me, in other words, is you will not tell me if you're dating or not. Oh, here. Yeah. You. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'd like you to look into this camera. Give us uh, that wave as we say bye-bye uh, so that uh, we can definitely move on to other things. We thank you so much for having uh, come to the show. You're and welcome. we also wish you all the best. Thank you. And are you supporting any of those who are contesting now? Do you have a favorite out of them? I support everyone. You support everyone? Yeah, I you believe that lying. everyone has you know a potential. Yeah. But you know you're lying. No, I'm not. This is just a diplomatic position. Like, no. Like you have just made the best everyone. girl win. <laughs> yeah, that's. But you have a favorite in there. No. 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 But if you go to vote secretly, you'd vote for someone. No. Really? I'll vote for everyone. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Our Miss Ronda is a liar. <laughs> That I'm is not. What, hmm? I'm not. You're not? Yeah. So that's the position? Yes. All right. Thank you. You're and welcome. thank you so much again. Okay? <laughs> okay. So give us the wave. How do they do it? Ah, uh, you yes. want me to do this? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thank you so much for being with us on One on One. You're welcome. Right. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Indeed. There you have it. And that is the reigning Miss Rwanda right here on Contact FM. The show you're watching or listening to is One on One. More discussions, more debates on various issues and of course hosting different personalities that shape the news agenda right here will be going on right here so see you again next time my name as always is eugene and nangwe goodbye
Wajenda na 